to yet another great life cast video. Before we get into this one, I need you to do a couple things for me. If you haven't already, go down, subscribe to the official life cast page. Also, go right over, hit that little notification bell so you get the notifications when we drop all the latest content right away. Last but not least, let's participate in this video. Give me that thumbs up or that thumbs down, depending on what you like. Send some comments over, share the video, bring the friends and family. We're here to light your fire eternally, enhance the human experience. Welcome to LifeCast. Emotions, electrochemical signals, and I'm gonna read this, in our brains that are based upon experiences and perceptions of our surroundings, right? So in other words, emotions are kind of the way that our body, a way that our body can communicate to us all the different experiences that we're, that are coming and going into our lives, right? It is a very real way when something happens, something is triggered, an electrochemical response, it brings on certain feelings, physical, um, mental, um, spiritual, right? And that is kind of what an emotion is, simple. It's simply that. It is a tangible thing um, that we can actually measure uh, with science right now, which is super cool. So at the basis, that's what an emotion is. Now, depending on like what you read or who you're talking to, um, there are basic human emotions. People say anywhere from six to nine of them. Um, through all my readings and the things that I like, I kind of picked out eight that I really hit home for me. Um, and as we go through this again, I'm gonna emphasize it that just because these would be my eight doesn't mean that they're your eight. And that being said, you may have things that, you know, other people and experts and all these things, uh, they just don't have. Um, so it is extremely important um, that you take this and make it yours, I guess is what I'm trying to say. All right, so my list, joy, sadness, love, fear, disgust, surprise, contempt, and anger. Now, if you have any other emotions, throw them in the comments right now. Again, I wanna hear about what you guys think. But that's a pretty basic list, I feel like. I feel like that um, most of us would agree that you know at least some of those are on our list of emotions, and those are things, if not, if you don't call them emotions, I'd be willing to bet you at least deal with some of them um, every day, um, or you know at least somewhat regularly. So, those are the kind of lists of emotions. Now, as we go through this, I want to make it very, very clear that um, there's no such thing as good and bad emotions, right? Emotions are neutral in and of themselves. Um, emotions come and they go. The chemical react, um, that starts in the hypothalamus, which uh, uh, regulates our endocrine system, right? The chemicals then translate and come up in through the limbic system and as it makes its way up into our rational brain, up into the front of our, um, front of our brain up here, right? That's kind of the, the, the whole spectrum of how emotion, starts as a chemical, becomes something tangible, travels, and then we start to think about it and start to use it. Um, I know that sounds super scientific and all. No, I'm just kidding. But that's basically what's going on, right? What's super interesting about emotions, they've been able now to kind of measure emotions and the physiology that goes along with it. And from the time that that emotion starts there in the hypothalamus, um, that, <clears throat> that very first uh, chemical signal, to the time it would all transfer all the way up and then eventually fade out would only be about six seconds or so, right? Some say six, seven, eight, nine, ten seconds, not very long. The emotion itself is very short-lived. Um, I think that this is extremely important. And this is important because anything that kind of comes after that, uh, a strong emotional feeling that's coming after that first six to ten seconds, that's our psyche taking over and that's kind of our ego kicking in and running with it, okay? And then this is where we can really start to get in trouble, I would say, right? Where all of a sudden we are now um, in an emotional state, potentially a high emotional state. We wanna really try to avoid these high emotional extremes. Um, and when we do get in these kind of emotional, um, high emotional states, emotional extremes, we wanna try to make sure that we're not um, making decisions or um, creating or uh, participating in any kind of bad behaviors that are only going to um, detract from the human experience rather than enhance it 
um, because that is the most important part um, of the whole thing. Again, is we're trying to enhance that human experience, right? And if we're not doing that, then we're taking away from it and um, that's no good. So, you know, emotions are super important. Happiness or joy is not better than anger or sadness um, or vice versa, right? They're all extremely important. They're all extremely necessary. And it's really important that we understand that concept that each of these emotions has a purpose um, and that as we can kind of learn to deal with them, learn to understand them, learn to appreciate them for what they are um, and actually learn to use them as tools to become better, to improve our lives, um, and that can really change the whole perspective on a lot of things in life. And so I guess that kind of segues into, well, how do we, you know, what is this control of the emotions that you're talking about? And I guess the question next would be, what is emotional intelligence?